Good afternoon. It's always good to see Karch in person here. I am grateful to the ABCA for this honor. I'm still stunned and humbled that I was selected to the Hall of Fame. In fact, I didn't believe it when I re returned the phone call to the 859 area code. First, I didn't believe it was Kathy DeBoer on the phone. Genius is Kathy DeBoer. I go, no, really, who is this? And she goes, no, this is Kathy DeBoer. I go, no, seriously, come on, don't touch me. Who is this? A stern Kathy DeBoer said on the phone, Jean, this is Kathy DeBoer, and you have been selected to the ABC Hall of Fame. My next word was, wow. It was like a scene from Field of Dreams. You see, I was in the hospital with my family when I returned the call. My sister Kathy was in surgery to remove a malignant tumor wrapped around her kidney. I had moved to the other side of the room to return the call to someone in Kentucky. As I was on the phone with Kathy DeBoer, I looked over to see my family all gathered to support my brother-in-law, my niece, and my nephews. There was a feeling of God's presence, and we all knew that Kathy was in good hands with her doctors, but more importantly, she was in God's hands. I told Kathy DeBoer I didn't deserve this award. It's for Olympic champions or college coaches that win national championships. Her words still ring true to my ears today. We are all the sum of our parts, Jean, and your parts have been very good. That was an amen as I looked over to my family and realized how fortunate I am. I've been blessed to have an incredible family. My mom and dad, John and Rita, were remarkable role models for everyone they met. There was always love in the home. I am grateful for some of my family members being here today. Just look a little wave. Helen Kesterson, Joyce Burke and her husband Steve, Kathy Morris and her husband Dan. Kathy, can you stand please? Yes, please. She's doing the older sister thing. By the way, Kathy is currently cancer free. Not presents are my sisters, not present are my sisters, Therese Holbrook, Rita McGuire, Patty Serrata, Karen Bueno, and Mary Smith. Wait, wait. I do have one brother named John. So I'm from a family of nine girls, one boy, and John was number nine. I did tell you there was always love in the home. I have been blessed to have some incredible men and women as assistant coaches, especially Rhonda Lau, who's been part of our coaching staff for 26 years. She has won nine state championships on the Boyd side, in addition to the eight with the girls program. She continues to champion for high school boys in Indiana for the opportunity to play the sport we all love. By the way, Rhonda, can you stand up? Are you standing? Okay. She is a two-time cancer survivor. Also here today is a new face of Cathedral Volleyball, Ms. Mrs. Mary Ording Heber. Mayor, can you stand please? She's a new head coach of uh, Cathedral High School, so all you college coaches, uh, you need to see Mary. I am grateful for Ms. Alice Underwood for creating the GAA, not golf for you young coaches, it's the Girls Athletic Association. She started at Chartrand High School. This allowed me my first opportunity to play volleyball. I was excited because it was something besides CYO kickball, because growing up, that's all we had. I want to thank Dr. Barb Curcio for keeping the women's volleyball program going at Ball State University at a time they're ready to disband it. I can't fathom Ball State without a volleyball program. I would like to thank Dr. Don Chandel for bringing his men's team over and teaching us the basics of the game. A few years ago, I had an opportunity to sit next to Dr. Don at a men's volleyball game. It was like sitting next to a youngster in a big fireworks. Oh, wow, oh, oh my, oh golly gee. And, and here's what I thought. Oh, here's another thing. The play was awful. It was horrible. Ball State's men's team was destroying their opponents. And I thought, if this man has seen thousands and thousands of volleyball games, and I had my attitude, that maybe I needed to change my attitude and find out and remember the things I loved about the game. And so it kind of had an impact at that time. I want to thank all the women I had the privilege to play with and against. I believe that every player on our team realized exactly what, that we are part of a movement to change women's sports at every level. We didn't have everything the players had today, but we had the opportunity to play the game that we love with the players who all competed because they loved the sport. We did stir things a bit and demanded change. They were slow, but we had change. 
Yes, I've been thrown out of men's athletic directors twice in my life. Very proud to say that. And you women at my time, you'd know what I'm talking about. I want to thank Valparaiso University for taking a chance on a 25-year-old and provided valuable experience, first as a volleyball coach and instructor of physical education, later as an assistant athletic director, coordinator of all the summer camps, supervised the swim team. I even had an opportunity to start the, start the women's softball program at Valpo. By the way, this is all at the same time. Recently, I've been blessed to have coached at Cathedral High School for 27 years. I've been blessed to have coached some incredible young ladies, you saw some of them in the film, with wonderful parents at a school that supports the volleyball program, win or tie. <laughs> Did you hear that, Mayor? Okay, God love you. It has been a gift not only to coach them, but to watch them grow and develop into outstanding professionals, doctors, lawyers, executives, in addition to being wives, mothers, and active members in their community and church. I've even had the opportunity to coach my kids' kids. I was especially blessed to have coached with my dad, Mr. Coach K, for nearly 20 years. He was my hero and inspiration to everyone I met. In fact, at Cathedral High School, the upstairs gym is named in his honor. I still look back to the call when questioned why me. Kathy DeBoard said that we're some of our parts and my parts have been very good. She's right, I've been very blessed. Thank you for the honor. <laughs>